All right, Tony D and Little Joan, your very late piney podcast, all things South Jersey. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Thanks for checking out the Web Comic Factory at the webcomicfactory.com, superfat at superfat.com, and of course, the pineys at the pineys.com, and of course, at amazon.com. Thanks to all who came out to Valari's in Sicklerville, New Jersey, for my uh, market there. It wasn't my market, but I was there. Uh, it was a kind of a short day, kind of rained. <laughs> Things did not go great, but it was fine. It was a fine market. I like like the people who run that uh, woman by the name of Isabella. Thank you, Isabella. Um, and uh, I'll probably be back at some point. Um, next up, tomorrow, well, actually it's today, Monday, at 6 p.m. I'll be at the Newfield Library in Newfield, New Jersey, 6 p.m. for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Hope to see you there. Okay. So now we're going to get into it. Um, we're going to do some, uh, uh, as always, we'll start with the crime and, and go to better stories. All right. So it was, a, it was a bit of crime. First up, New Jersey woman charged with DWI and crash that killed toddler. Please don't drink and drive. I mean, I, you know, at this point with Uber, there's no excuse for it. You know, back in the day, there was this service. And what they would do is they'd drive home drunk people and they'd, they'd put a little motorcycle in the back of your car and then they'd drive you home with your car and then unfold the motorcycle and, and drive back to the bar. Um, but, you know, that didn't catch on as much as Uber. Uber's easy, okay? Uber or Lyft or whatever. If you're drunk, just get a ride with Uber and then you get a ride back tomorrow in your car. There's no excuse for it now, none. Okay, if you're drunk, don't drink and drive. At least be that responsible. And you know you're going to get wasted anyway. Take an Uber to begin with. And then just, then you have no, you, you don't even have to worry about your car, right? You know, I know, you're going to save your money for booze. Yeah, well, save your money for uh, to, so you don't end up in jail. Because you know where you, you're really going to have a hard time drinking? In jail. Uh, New Jersey man fatally shot, dies in crash trying to drive away. Where is this? East Hampton. Oh, that's no good. This is a, a Willingboro man. He's dead after a shooting at an apartment complex in Burlington County. Police found Christian Kurtz, 26, critically injured along Heading Jackson Road in East Hampton Saturday around 7.15 p.m. He'd been shot while at the East Hampton Garden Apartments, then he drove a short distance before crashing into another car. I guess he was trying to get him to a hospital. Jeez. That's messed up. Messed up. A woman stabbed 37 times by former classmate with manifesto outlining her murder, official says. Jeez. Grizzly death of Mary Rose Feely, 27, was allegedly mapped out by a man who knew her in high school. This is in Somerville. Holy crap. That is horrific. That is just awful. She was 27, so he'd been... He'd been uh, mulling on this for a while, apparently. That is awful. Substitute teacher from Browns Mills arrested and charged with aggravated sexual assault of 14-year-old victim. Jeez. This is uh, awful. She was assaulted multiple times by Rebecca Coddington, a woman. That's crazy. At a private residence in Gloucester Township. Holy crap, lady. You are... Not a prison deep and dark enough, if this is true. Acquaintance charged with murdering young New Jersey woman outside home. Oh, this is the same. This is Mary Rose Feely. Same one. Oh, I guess that's a picture of her, too. Shame. Two men who shot, who shot at New Jersey SP detective in Salem County Mobile Home Park sentenced to state prison terms. Not good. I don't do that. Don't, uh, look, the cops are going to arrest you. They're going to arrest you. Well, what are you going to get away? Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, they're only filming every square inch of New Jersey constantly 24-7. I'm sure you'll get away. I'm sure you'll be the one guy that gets away. No, you get away for a few hours, maybe a couple of days. Uh, if you're smart, you get out of state and you go to Mexico or Canada or whatever, and then maybe you're, maybe, maybe a few years go by, but you're stupid. Just don't, don't, first off, there's all kinds of legal recourses to get out of stuff, especially now. 
So you might as well just go, all right, you arrest me, go to prison, you'll be out in like 10 minutes anyway, in most cases. Enraged New Jersey man runs over a woman three times for minor fender bender. Oh my God, where the heck was this? Oh, this is Elizabeth. That's North Jersey, man. Oh my God, three times he ran over her. He was convicted on Friday after a two-week trial. Jesus, guy. Go to jail. Go to jail. New Jersey man with sword, fake gun, robbed sex worker. Cops say. What the? Are these guys starting an, a weird anime cartoon? What the heck's going on? The men who hired the sex worker appeared to be intoxicated. Oh, there's a shock. Sparta. This was also further north. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the sex worker has nothing to lose by going to the cops at that point, dummies. 20-year-old Galloway man charged in crash while intoxicated. That's not good. Again, don't drink and drive. You're lucky you didn't hurt someone. Imagine if you had been the other person that killed a toddler. How would you feel then? Uh, breaking pedestrian struck in Haddon Township vehicle crash. Authorities investigating. That is, that's uh, the 11th. Not good. Atlantic City firefighters battle two blazes in three days. Also not good. A lot of fires in AC these days. I think, that, I, think I had last week I had fire a fire headline. Vandalism caused Peace Pilgrim statue in Egg Harbor City to be taken down for repairs. Why the heck would you vandalize that? It's... Uh, uh, Peace Pilgrim walked the country for 28 years. She stopped counting the miles in 1964 after hitting 25,000. She never carried food or money, but ate what was freely offered. Uh, well, that's nice. That's nice. So there was a, a thing to her. I didn't know that it was an egg harbor. Well, that's neat. Why would you vandalize that, you idiots? Car fire extinguished on Brick Boulevard by Brick Township firefighters. Okay, this was on Friday. Oh, there's a, oh, a video of it and everything. What kind of car was this, I wonder? I wonder if it was an electric car. Doesn't say. Uh, cause of the fire under investigation. Under investigation. Um... Clayton, New Jersey, school bus driver charged with driving 23 kids while drunk. Well, look, again, stop driving drunk. Just don't do it. Call in sick, sober to F up. God, driving kids while drunk, you really could have hurt somebody. State claims massive fraud by local facilities. Oh, this is in Hamilton. For rehabilitation and health care will lose New Jersey Medicaid funding on May 24th. I think they shut this place down. Uh, yeah, this is from the second. I think it's already shut down, but I may be confusing it with another place. New Jersey firefighter engulfed in flames during house fire Saturday night. Was that in Atlantic City? No, that was in Brick. Jeez, hope you're okay. Um... Quick action by fellow firefighters prevented any injury. So uh, that's good. Amid rise in anti-Semitism, New Jersey Assemblyman targets, targets doxing and swatting. I'm for this, but I'm a little wary of what you're going to do. Like, don't punish the rest of us. What you want to do is put something in place so people caught doing this will face a fairly severe penalty, I would say. So, but, um, yeah, I would say I, I'm all for people who do, uh, docks and SWAT getting arrested. All for that. Don't, don't roll in eight hate crime into it because hate crime is subjective. And, uh, they tried to make calling cops names a hate crime. They tried all kinds of crazy things to expand the definition of hate crime. Look. People hate on each other all the time. It doesn't... Sure, anti-Semitism, okay. It's bad. I admit that. It's bad. It's but racism, bad things. These are bad things. You can't legislate that, though. People hold terrible views. 
Uh, once you start saying, okay, this is a hate crime, you, you're going to expand the definition and we're going to be in trouble. So make things against doxing and swatting, but keep, uh, keep subjectivity out of it. That doesn't belong in the law. New Jersey veterans, now, hold on. New Jersey veterans can't stop unnecessary euthanasia, euthanasia at least for now. So there's a bill that they're trying to push through that would give veterinarians power to save pets from being put to sleep. Okay, I'm okay with that. I would like to see animals live. <laughs> so, good. Um, I, I'm not sure what the bar is, but... You know, I and look, I, I think it's better that a pet live, like for instance, if a homeless guy has a has a dog or whatever, you're really gonna take it from the homeless guy because he and the dog are kind of starving and maybe they don't eat that real well. I I don't think that's right. I I think it's better that dogs live. I you know, if you can't take care of the dog and even if it's in kind of bad conditions, I don't like that either. But I don't think the go-to action should be, well, we'll just kill these things. Like, I, you know, at the very least, cut them loose in the woods or something. You know, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, cut them loose on an island somewhere so, you know, at least they could kind of live, maybe? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just don't... I think if the dog had to say, they'd say, no, I wouldn't like to die. Former New Jersey news personality launches GOP bid for Menendez seat. Alex is a Zidane enters crowded race to unseat indicted Bob Menendez in deep blue, New Jersey. Good luck to all the red candidates. F yourselves, blue candidates. Not, not interested in any of you blue guys. Uh, so, not interested at all. Would like to see a red guy steal the seat. I don't know, man. I would lo love to see a MAGA guy steal the seat. I don't know how real that is. Um, you know... There's going to be a big battle for governorship. Citarelli, I'd rather see him try for this than... Although, I don't know. I'd like to see a MAGA guy to get in. I'd love to see Ed Durr get in. He'd be great, but I don't think he... I don't think he would have the support, but we'll see. Andy Kim knocks Tammy Murphy in landslide victory for New Jersey State primary. Uh, okay. This is the first Democratic convention in the 2024 Senate primary. Um, so, this is the Monmouth County Democratic convention. Uh, out of Andy Kim and Tammy Murphy, I guess Andy Kim is marginally better. Tammy Murphy has no business running. None. Zero. So, I don't know why she would bother. I think she'd be terrible. Andy Kim... Look, if it comes between a man and a woman and they're both terrible, I'll take the man. I'll take the man because women are terrible on a whole different level for for this kind of role. Call me sexist if you want, but uh, show me. There are very few good female politicians in my view. Like Maybe you could par point to Margaret, Margaret Thatcher in the UK. Maybe. Uh, in the United States, uh, have we had any? I mean, Hillary Clinton was an absolute disaster in every level. Uh, Elizabeth Warren's terrible. Amy Klobuchar's terrible. I mean, uh, Republican side is that woman from Maine, a, a rhino. I mean, I, I don't think there are a lot of good female. And, like, Tammy Murphy's just, she has no political experience other than, oh, she was the first wife of New Jersey. No, get, get lost. No business. Chris Christie vows to stay and uh, Republican and fight for the party. I will never stop fighting. Oh, please. You'll never stop eating, you mean. Um, would I pick Chris Christie over a female candidate? God, that'd be a tough call. That'd be a tough call. No, he's pretty corrupt. I'd write my own damn name in at that point if the woman was that terrible. 31-year-old reported missing from Whitman Park. Uh, contact CCPD with information. This is the whereabouts of Quamira Branch. Okay. What town is this? Camden County. Oh, okay. Camden County Police Department. Whitman Park. Is that in Camden? I'm going to assume it is. 
So that's not good. Miss it in Camden. Not good. Buffalo Wild Wings Go is open in Voorhees. Wings, even burgers, but no bar. Yeah, it's not. I don't like Buffalo Wild Wings. I had ter two terrible experiences there. One in Texas, uh, which was a dumb place to go, but we had no choice. And then one in New Jersey, which was awful. Just god awful, I thought. The cost of McDonald's in New Jersey is amongst the most expensive in the U.S. Um, the breakfast isn't too bad, but yeah, I mean. But again, I just don't eat here anymore. I'm too old for this. I should be eating McDonald's food. It's a, it's a very rare treat for me now, but it's not even that good to me anymore. I mean, back in the day, it was good. Back in the day, restaurants like this kind of were okay. I was just talking to somebody about this tonight. Like, if you went to Dunkin' Donuts back in the day, they made donuts. They made the donuts there. They were pretty good. They were like food. We were talking about Pizza Hut. Like, we're talking early 80s, late 70s. It wasn't bad. It, it, you know, I would never eat there. I would never set foot in a Pizza Hut ever again. But back then... They were kind of making pizza. I mean, they were still a stream down process, but they were still cooking food. Like fast food today, a lot of it's pre-cooked. It comes in bags. They, they heat it a certain way, and then they serve it to you. I'm not saying it's the worst food ever, but it's different. It's not as good to me. It's processed more. It doesn't taste like real food uh, for, for a lot of it. And it's really processed, I think. So it's just my opinion, McDonald's. I don't know anything. Uh, Brooklawn Circles Flooding Digest plus help coming soon. Uh, Brooklawn Circles Gateway Dining, the full digest. Brooklawn Circles have been plagued with flooding since the day they were created 100 years ago. But things appear to have gotten worse recently and residents are getting frustrated. Oh, weird. Huh. Didn't realize this was that big of a problem. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, I do realize this was a big problem because I have been over the Route 130 bridge. So I guess they're finally fixing that. Brooklawn Circle there. Okay. 47. Nah, I don't usually use that. Man, that, that, yeah. And it's bad. It is bad there. Uh, in Atlantic City, where have all the strip clubs gone? Yeah, that's weird. Um... But one vice the city once offered in abundance strip clubs that dwindled to only two options, bare exposures and stiletto. Probably because all the rules changed and, and you just can't operate them. Plus a lot of the mob guys, the mob guys have been driven out of AC for the most part. Probably not enough money in it. If you want sleaze, you need mob guys. Or, here's a thought, you could just legalize prostitution in AC like they did in Vegas. Or in New Jersey, I'll say. Cross keys and aerial power line upgrades. Tall pole goes up. I guess. I guess that's good. I don't know. Why don't you bury these lines? If you're going to do an upgrade, why don't you bury the lines like they do in Europe? Uh, weather. Snow north. Rain south. Latest updates. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. No snow. Love it. Um, bottom line. New Jersey's extended stretch of dry, sunny, mild weather is over. State's fifth winter storm of the season arrives Monday night into Tuesday. Uh-oh. Well, I will be doing my talk, but I'll probably be home before it's over. I, it looks like near me it'll be nothing. Not sure where Newfield is, but I think it's a little further north. But, yeah, zero to one, which means probably zero, because they always overestimate these things, I think. So good for me. Uh, you're up north, Jersey. You're in trouble. <laughs> Uh, oh, here's a better even a better mostly rain and sun, two to four. I don't like that. Two to four. When's this thing start? Update uh, Saturday. Uh, yeah. All right. I don't like it. It's gonna be cold and miserable, but as long as the snow doesn't stay, I'm okay with it. Auction set for Summerdale's Flying Fish. Is this the brewery's last weekend? Sounds like it. That's unbelievable. This was like one of the first ones. You would have thought in this environment of all these breweries opening, they would have thrived, but no. They were one of the early innovators, so that's a shame. I guess because of all the competition, maybe they opened too big and 
and all they had to do was lose people at that point because other places would open. I, I don't know. It, is, it, it isn't in the best spot, in my view, but uh, I'm shocked that it was in rough shape. But uh, financially, I guess. Jeez. I mean, I guess it was a pandemic hurt him. Midlands man wins $300,000 after choosing second lottery ticket. Good for you, bro. Oh, this is South Carolina. I thought this was New Jersey. Oh, sorry. I don't know why. This was in the Shore News Network. It's supposed to be New Jersey Shore News Network. Wing stop on Cross Key Road, Sicklerville open. Now, this place, I don't know. I've never eaten here, so I'd be willing to try the wings. Are they good? I don't know. Cross Keys, that's not too far from me. I could probably do it. Um, New Jersey's best towns for pizza based on Google reviews. Okay, I'll be the judge of that. Let's see. Highest ranking New Jersey city in the top 250 was Newark. I'm not surprised at 58. All right. I could see that. Elizabeth was 68. Jersey City, city ranked 122. Okay. This is all BS because there's nothing down south. Camden ranks 175. Come on. Camden, you're going to rank Camden the top of South Jersey. Clifton made 212. Patterson made the list coming in at 240 out of 250. Well, you people obviously haven't been to Hamilton, I'll say. Hamilton should totally be on that list and near the top, if not at the top. Uh, and you got places all over South Jersey. You know, they, they just went to North Jersey, I think. South Jersey's most romantic restaurants ever. Okay, three South Jersey. The Hard Rock Cafe. Really? I don't know, man. Atlantic City makes the top 100. Il Molino, New York. Oh, it's located inside the hotel. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I've never been there. That's romantic, I guess. Cape May, of course. Washington Inn and Wine Bar. Yeah. And I think that place is haunted, too. Franklinville Inn makes the list on Route 47 and Delcy Drive. I don't think I've ever been here. Looks very fancy. Beach Haven. Uh, the Gables in Beach Haven. Uh, never been there, but cool. Historic. Nice. Um, this New Jersey restaurant is great for a cheap meal. All right. I'm always, I'm always down for cheap meals. Where is it? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, do, do, do. restaurants that close. Where, where, where's the cheap meal? These are restaurants that closed. Angelino's. Atlantic City, Burger Fi in Cherry Hill. I remember Burger Fi. I don't think it was that great. Cherry Hill Diner in Cherry Hill. I'm kind of not surprised. <laughs> I didn't think it was that great. It's a shame. They needed a they needed a remodel. Probably caught them at a bad time during the pandemic. Crow's Nest. I don't know that place. Sands Chitch's Cafe. I don't, I don't know that place. South Boundbrook. Uh, D's Soul Food Cafe in Hoboken. No, 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 don't know that. Uh, Daikichi in Montclair, don't know that. Donato's Clam Bar in Seaside Heights, don't know that. Empire Diner in Parsippany, I think I've driven past that. E. Holland Sundries in Bradley Beach, that sounds very fancy. These are all closed. Abelia Tavern in New Newark. Langosta Lounge, Asbury Park. Where's the cheap place? Nicholas Diner in Patterson. Park Place kosher and highland park these are all closed red lion diner i know that place sad that closed rave roadside kitchen in creambridge closed oh no that's no good a and s somaria and millstone sneddon's luncheonette in lambertville it's a neat name surf bar and grill in rumson i've heard of that that's a shame pj sweeney's closed oh in brick oh that's a chain there's a few of them Okay, so the cheap restaurant was the Fork River Diner. Oh, okay. So it was cheap and the food was good. Okay, cool. Took a long time to get to that. Okay, New Jersey's largest zoo used to be in a Pleasantville at Pleasantville at a gas station. Okay, or is this the Cape May Zoo? 
The world's days of Wawa and the largest gas station in the world was Pleasantville, New Jersey. It was located on Absecon Boulevard. It's called Paxton's. And the place had a zoo. Oh, so the gas station had a zoo. I never heard of that. Huh. That's interesting. Interesting. Had a little zoo. A uh, study reveals New Jersey's favorite pizza chain. Is it yours? Not if it's a chain. Uh, place your bets. Texas, their favorite chain was... Who cares? Because they're Texans. They do barbecue. They don't do pizza. They like Caesars. It's a, it's edible. Uh, okay, so New Jersey's five favorite pizza chains are Mod Pizza. I kind of know Mod. I think that, yeah, there's one in Cherry Hill. Sabara. Sabara's okay. Mod is... I didn't like Mod. Sabara I can tolerate. It's tolerable. Blaze Pizza? I don't know that one. Number three, two Pizza Hut? No, not anymore. Back in the day, maybe. And the number one is Domino's. Blah. Don't like Domino's. No, thank you. No, I would take Sabaro on that list any day of the week. Or Scotto's. We have Scott. That's a, that's a smaller. It's not quite as big, I think. Um, first ever pinstripes open in New Jersey. You'll never see bowling like this. Oh, you can get drunk. Uh, slated to open 2022 and then fall 2023. Pinstripes is currently set to open its doors Friday, February 16th in Westfield Garden State in Paramus. Oh, this is up in New York. So it's Bistro, Bowling, and Bocce. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. That sounds kind of cool. That's a little far for me, but maybe they'll get one down here. Uh, it's worth a short trip from New Jersey to get this food at Mom Mom's Kitchen. All right, what's the food? Uh, this is pierogies. Oh, in Philly? I'm not going all the way to Philly. I mean, cool, you have... This is South Street on Philly. This is in New Jersey. I, how did this sneak in? I don't know. Sorry. That's on me. Uh, you need to try this classic Italian dish from an iconic New Jersey musician. All right, what is it? I'm going to guess, looking at the picture, lasagna. Looks like lasagna. Yes. Who, what musician is working it? Bobby. I don't know who this is. World-class musician and singer. Oh, Bobby Bandiera. I don't know him. All right. He likes, uh, he likes lasagna, everyone. Good for him. Um, the best breakfast sandwich in New Jersey is hidden in this small general store. I will be the judge of that. Ooh, bagels. Ooh, they look good. The way bacon, egg, and cheese rolls off your tongue. Uh, okay, I don't think it's that. Pork roll, perhaps. Uh, turn to the Food Network, 50 State. Oh, just get to it. Come on. According to the Food Network, the best breakfast sandwich in New Jersey is the P&L Custom Allenwood General Store in Allentown, New Jersey. Oh, I've never been to this general store. Hmm. I have to go get that. Well, it looks pretty good. Uh, any native New Jerseyan will tell you that pork roll, also known as Taylor ham, no, pork roll, is one of the best bites in the Garden State, blah, 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 blah. Allenwood General Store in Allenwood, New Jersey. Okay, what is it? Pork roll, egg, cheese, sausage, bacon on a hard roll. So it looks like potatoes are on it too. Mmm. Mmm, it's making me hungry. Moving on. Best lobster meals in Atlantic City. Atlantic City County, New Jersey areas. All right, let's take a look at this. That looks good. What is, what is it? Uh, Kristen Hurley Baker. Uh, meal prepared by Steve and Cookies by the Bay and Margate. All right. Uh, Capriccio's Italian Restaurant, Resorts and Casino and Hotel in Atlantic City. This is Seafood Zepeda. That well, looks pretty good. Looks spicy. Hard Rock Hotel and Casino has um, a dish at Council Oak Steaks and Seafood. This is a two-pound main lobster drawn butter. All right. That's the way I like it. Oh, and you get shrimp, clams, mussels, sausage, corn, and spicy seafood broth. That's a pretty good deal. What a two-pound lobster. What did that cost you, though? That set you back. 
Seafood Tower at Doc's Oyster House in Atlantic City. Ooh, love me a seafood tower. I, I had a great seafood tower at a place um, not too long ago. It was an oyster special. It was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Vic and Anthony Steakhouse at the Golden Nugget. All right. He seems pretty happy. Oh, 18-ounce cold water Australian lobsters. That looks pretty good. Looks like you got two of them. Uh, all right. And then where else? The Lobster Thermidor at the Knife and Fork. I still haven't been there all the years I've lived in South Jersey. I still I got to get there sometime. I've heard mixed reviews, but I, I kind of want to go there. It's very historic. Linwood Country Club Whole Lobster Cocktail. Well, that sounds good. Uh, it's like lobster poached in butter. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Poor boy, it looks like. What is this? It's a lobster roll at Water Dog Smokehouse in Ventnor. Oh, man, that looks nice. Again, I wonder what it costs. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. PJ Buckets in Ventnor, Ocean City. Also make the lobster with a New England family size boil. Ooh, that looks good. I, I'm not so into these meals that they dump it on the table or they just bring it out in a giant bucket. I mean, like, I get it. It's part of the thing, but it's kind of weird. Uh, bonus entry, Johnny Rodeo has an amazing site, a catering service. Oh, so they make lobster, too. Oh, look at all those. Yummy. Okay, they all look pretty good. I like lobster. Uh, New Jersey snack food favorite you can't buy anymore. What? What the hell, man? Uh, what was it? Dis what was discontinued here? A particular potato, ch potato chip. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Lemon foods you can no longer buy. Pringles. Hmm. So they're done. Oh, discounted all its wavy Pringles. I, didn't, I never liked Pringles. I, I'll say it. I like regular potato chips. Nabisco's famous chocolate wafers. Not sure I had those. Maple Cheerios. They sound good. Uh, Dunkachino. Dunker. Dunkin' Donuts. Trader Joe's Minty Mallows. Don't remember those. Raspberry Rally Girl Scout Cookies. I do remember those. And they those were good, ladies. You should bring them out. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Food items forever gone in New Jersey. Oh, that looks good. Good humor toasted almond bars. McDonald's McCaffey, McCafe bakery items. Ronzoni pastina. Eh. Dunkin' Donuts Dunkachino. Maple Cheerios. Taco Bell quesadilla. I won't eat a Taco Bell anymore. Sorry. Nobody over the age of 20 seems to work there. Pop-Tarts peach cobbler. For a while, I was really into trying all the Pop-Tarts. I would have tried that, but it's got so much artificial flavor, I think. Uh, I'm not. Wendy's Grilled Sand. Really? The grilled chicken's been discontinued? Here's the Pringles. Jalapeno. Nah, I hate Pringles. Starbucks Raspberry Syrup. Oh, just the syrup's been discontinued. That's weird. All right, moving on. New Jersey Crab predicts Kansas City Chiefs will win the Super Bowl. Man, I should have bet with the crab. I knew it. <laughs> uh, so, I guess the unnamed uncanny nine spider crab at Sea Life Aquarium in the American Dream Mall, East Rutherford, uh, picked, picked the Chiefs. So, there you go. Always listen to the crab. Um, cuteness alert. Wayward pups rise New Jersey Transit. Uh, he boarded a New Jersey transit bus during Thursday morning commute, and now the agency is hoping he'll find his way back home. Oh, how did this happen? Poor guy. Oh. Mountain Station is the upper South Orange along the Morris and Essex line. How the hell do you bring a dog on this thing, or did he just wander on there? How did he wander onto a bus? Oh, poor guy. I hope someone finds him. There he is. Look at him, Joe. He could be your cousin. He could be your cousin. He's up north. Uh, Project Prom 2024, Atlantic County, New Jersey, looking for dress donations. So if you got an old prom dress you want to get rid of, there you go. 
uh, donated to poor girl who go into the prom. Uh, best steakhouse in New Jersey is amongst the top in the U.S. It's hard to find a good steakhouse in New Jersey. I, I freely admit that. Uh, New Jersey's number one spot, according to uh, a site, is the River Palm Terrace in Edgewater. Okay. I, I've been to a few places down here that are pretty good. The Palm in... Uh, forget what casino it's a it's an ac somewhere in one of the casinos it's pretty good i don't know it's hard to, hard to get a good steak we're not close enough to where the meat is and finally the ultimate best pizza in new jersey and philadelphia okay all right all right place your bets here we go uh recent survey found 21 percent of americans say pizza is their favorite food is this is this the winner Brooklyn Pie Pizza Den, Princeton. Will they make exclusive list of New Jersey pizzerias? More stops ahead. Okay, New Jersey favorite pizza. All right. Blah, blah, blah. This is uh, Pizzeria Badia in Philadelphia. Oh, this is the mustard pie. I've tried this, actually. Best pizza in pizza in Philly is Pizzeria Badia. Eh, it's pretty good. It's interesting. It's like if you've eaten a ton of pizza... And you want to try something different? The mustard pizza is kind of interesting. It's like, oh yeah, I tasted pizza. And then you kind of want to like, yeah, after a couple slices, you're like, okay. <laughs> In my view. Oh, oh, so you're saying the Philly pizza place is the? Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Really? I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong, it's good. But there are plenty of really good places in South Jersey. I say South Jersey is the best. But that's just me. I'm prejudiced. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan, and the Piney Podcast for this week. Uh, join us next week on the Piney Podcast on Sunday, where hopefully I'll get things done a little earlier than this. Um, what else is going on? Uh, new videos this week. Don't forget uh, my event tomorrow at the Newfield Library. Hope to see you there. We'll see you in the next one.